but Ray, you went to the next bullet. That's what I was about to say. Like, so from one creator to another, um, what should support look like if you are lucky enough to have a friend or just even somebody that you feel like is an acquaintance that both of y'all are creators? Um, how do you support one another? And I'll ask this. What is overstepping your boundaries as a creator friend? Ooh. I think as a creative to support another creative, you need to do what you want people to do for you. Mm. That's probably number one. You want people to like, comment, share, subscribe, all the, th all the things you need to be doing that for other people. Um, because you know the value of it. So if you're a creative, right. you know the value of a save, you know the value of a share, you know the value of yep. a repost or a value, you know, whatever. And you want people to, to do that for you, then you should be doing that for your friends, um, your fellow friends who are also creatives. I mean, if you want to go as far as to do it for people you have no idea who they are, then sure. But if there are people in your circle who are doing the same things that you are doing, then you should support them the same way that you want them to support you. Um, and then something that's going over... I mean, there's a lot of line stepping sometimes, but line stepping is more so like if if me and Shawana were talking about posting something that we were going to collaborate on, but then she went ahead and did it herself and like didn't tell me. That's like, you know, that's crossing a line because it's like, well, we have plans to do this together. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. went on your own and, you know, didn't even speak to me. So I think when other people are involved, ideas need to be... Like people need to be hesitant on what they talk to certain people about because mm -hmm, that person sure. has the idea and go ahead, create a whole blog post around it, create, you know, reach out potentially to the business you wanted to reach out to, work with them, you know, create a whole thing off of what your original idea was. So mm. why are you sighing? Did that happen? No. <laughs> Wait, did that happen? A we? No, I just have a what do I call it? It's not like a phobia. Mm -hmm. But Shawana know I'm like, I'm like so leery of other creators. It is just horrible. Like, I'm just so like, yeah, I don't have like no creator friends for real. Like, it just, because I always think about that stuff. I don't think about the, the latter, like the good stuff. I always think about like the crazy shit either I've seen happen or mm -hmm. that like I've heard about. Like, yeah, we just working on this thing together. And like they just took that shit and ran, or like, yeah, she got my money. Just like wow, shit! I just be like, yo, people really be out here doing that. So yeah, like oh, stuff yeah, we... like that to me is scary. Um, okay, I guess for me it would just be the same thing. Like if we're creator friends. Um, reading my stuff listening to my stuff um I guess going back to being anyone like if you know me you know my personality and you know a certain shit like I don't like or stuff that's not for me like take that in to account too because like sometimes our intentions are good about giving advice or being like oh why don't you try this or try that but it's like that's not even what they want. That's just not them. Mm -hmm. um, so I feel like you got to be mindful of like what lane your creative friend is in. Um, just knowing the ins and outs of that. Because like I said, sometimes we want to give advice and be like, oh, you thought about doing this? And it's like, yeah, that ain't even gonna work for what they do. Um, so being mindful, um, sharing their stuff. Um, anything that, yeah, like you say, anything we want somebody to do for us. Um, crossing a boundary, maybe doing something on my behalf and I wasn't asked first. Mm -hmm. Like, I think that's weird. Like, so getting back to the scenario Ray gave, like, if we working on something and you like, oh, well maybe such and such could get involved. Like, instead of saying, oh my God. let me, yeah, like, oh, let me ask <laughs> such and such first and then, you know, see how they feel about it and then moving mm -hmm. forward. Mm -hmm. um, like, doing stuff 
like that. Like, bruh, everybody can't, everybody, everybody can't go. Everybody can't do the same thing. Like, it, it just ain't gonna work all the time. Um, that's like the main one I can think of, or like just outright selling somebody shit. Like, that's just a no no. What was the last thing? I said stealing somebody shit. That's just a no no. Oh, yeah. Okay, so for me, I feel like the same ones y'all said, pretty much as far as supporting one creative to another. Um, over, I never, I never really thought about like overstepping. I guess your boundaries. I would say, cause well, I've only had like one like weird thing happen where like uh, Ray was saying like, you're supposed to be collaborating with somebody and the person didn't like steal the idea or anything like that. They just fell off the face of the earth. Like they just disappeared. Mm-hmm. Like the communica- <laughs> communication just stopped. Mm-hmm. And I feel like it was a lot going on during that time, but like, I guess keeping communication open and being, I guess, professional, like making sure you keep it, st- somewhat of a professional degree especially if like you don't really personally know these people yeah i'd say just kind of communicating on a personal level and that kind of merging i guess the personal with it i don't know that but again that has to go off of your connection with whatever person because one of your creative friends you might have known since during high school you know versus somebody that you met because y'all do y'all in the same lane you know off social media so Mm -hmm. i guess that boundaries and that stuff i feel like another boundary that people habitually just step on at this point is like if we're friends then they'll think if we made an agreement for something to be doing friday now it's like sunday monday ah because they know you Mm -hmm. (laughs) you know it's fine or they don't take things as serious because they know you it's you you invoice them Girl, I'll I'll pay you next Friday. I got you. I got you in three days. No. I I agree. I think that happens in all professions, like across the board. Mm -hmm. Like it do. I feel like when you know somebody, I feel like you always either have to have that awkward conversation. Or you got to draw back because you like, dog, like, I love you, but this, either this inconsistent stuff or this, you know, you ain't never ready or you can't meet this deadline. Like, this is just too much. And I think it's unfortunate, but that's why I was weak because I was thinking about not even creatively, just in my life, period, how many people do stuff. And because I know and love them, I want to give them my money. But I'd be like, damn, <laughs> like, <laughs> you can't show up when you're supposed to. You can't come the day you told me you was coming. So that I definitely think that is one that gets crossed, like, so many times. And it's just like, you got to make a decision, like, am I going to keep dealing with it? Or do I just find somebody else? So... Yeah, that uh, that one sucks because I feel like I'd be in that situation all the time with people. Mm. Well, I don't have well. That was the last bullet. I thought I said that was it. <laughs> yeah, because we left the um, we left the last one open for right. Oh, yeah, that was the last bullet. Do y'all want to touch on what isn't support? Like, what's not support? I feel like we low key kind of. It's something I want to say, but you got to cut it out. Uh-uh, uh-uh. What do you want to say? <laughs> that comment you got last week that you was like, I should have just deleted it. No, that's okay, not support. No, we're going to talk about it. Because... <laughs> that's not support. But I, that kind of... <laughs> that kind of... I mean, comment... they commented, so, you know, it might have boosted your post a little bit, but they, like, are... you don't say that. You, that's not, you, right. you don't... Okay. So, okay. So, you know, and somebody posted this on Twitter that they was like, one thing about the older people, they gonna comment on your stuff. Like, yo, yo, older people in your Girl. family, like, all of them. Hate so, <laughs> and you know, they have their own beliefs about, you know, different things or whatever. I don't know. You know, the ancestors, the ones before us, they, they got their own ways of being sometimes, which is great. Mm. But, um, 
sometimes, you know, there can be a shady things going on. So, but it falls back in line with um, just being genuine with your support. Like if you, it's okay to not resonate with something somebody does, but don't go out of your way to comment if you know you really don't even bang with the post like that or if you don't even agree, you know yeah. what I'm saying, with what the person is doing. But if I feel like it helped boost a little bit, maybe, I don't know. I'll go back and comment, delete it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, just don't, like if you, it's okay to just not, care about everything but don't go out your way to i don't know say something if you yeah know. like if you don't understand yeah just, especially like our older generation is listening then like it's okay to like keep going like, yeah, like just asking questions going. under like just don't do <laughs> don't don't do that be <laughs> asking people questions i need they picture like no inbox me call i already yes, on call phone. me don't be asking questions and uh, Yes, asking questions under a picture. Like, no, we're not doing that. I mean, thank you for, like, boosting it, but no, 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 no. That's not where you do that at. No, please, yeah. no. So, that was funny. It, it was weird, but it was funny. I laughed about it later, but yeah. So. I was so confused. Yeah, I was so confused. <laughs> um, what? I'm trying to think of some more. I was like, yeah, no, please don't do that. Um. Have I had this happen? Or was it somebody else? Don't share something if you're going to, like, take it back down. Ah. <laughs> what was the point in the first place? Or, like, what happened? <laughs> what happened within the hour? Because, mm -hmm. yeah, like, what's going on? <laughs> like, damn, that was quick. Um, so yeah, like, if you don't want to share, just, like, don't share. Like, it's okay. But... Don't, yeah, don't share nobody's stuff and then take it back down. Mm -hmm. I have a question for y'all. What yeah. is, like, what's the internal work that y'all has to do to even be okay with mm. sometimes a lack of support? Well, for me, I had to realize that I won't show enough of myself in that way. Mm. I, I had to realize, like, like you said, the whole mirror thing, because sometimes the mirror is me. Yeah, and I had to realize that a lot of the stuff that I was expecting from others, it wasn't even because I was giving it to myself. It's because I was giving it to them. So I'm like, oh, well, since I'm, I'm what it's, you know, I, I'm treating you how I would want to be treated, but I'm not treating myself like that. At the end of the day, that's what did it for me. I literally just had to kind of give myself the same energy I was giving other people, and I did that through, uh, like, I live, I talked to myself. Like, I got to affirm myself. I just have to. Like, mm -hmm. words are very powerful in my life. So, journaling and literally, like, verbally affirming myself for real, for real. So, that's what I had to do. A start. <laughs> Your answer is so nice and concise. Because uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's why my mind is about to be. Mm -mm. Um, <laughs> for me, it, like, it started somewhere else and then it, like, trickled down. Um, so my older sister is not in my life. And mm -hmm. even though that's not like my parent, um, I still had like abandonment issues with people in particular females. Mm -hmm. Um, so a lot of times people like not showing up or people like disappointing me is like devastating. Like you used to be better off like lying to me. Like I could probably forget at first if I feel like you like left me hanging. Like that's just, that was unforgivable in my book. Mm -hmm. Um, so having to work through that, which affected my friendships, which trickled down to, you know, I really can't be worried about mm -hmm. how, how, where they're showing up, when they're showing up. Um, because sometimes it's just not for me to be worried about. Sometimes it's just not meant for people to be in my life. Mm -hmm. Um, so it was really working on that little girl inside of me that was always worried about either somebody having an ulterior, ulterior motive or somebody leaving before I was ready for them to leave. Mm -hmm. um, so I had to work through that to get to a point where I was just like, well, you know, if you're here, great. I love it. And then if you're not, then, you know, I love that too. That's good. Maybe you're just not supposed to be here. Um, but yeah, it came from like a deep, dark place. So yeah. yeah. Are you going to answer? Or is I that said, what about you? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Um, I feel you on that because I think the work that many creatives, if not just humans in general, need to do is like the expectations that we have for other people. Um, just like what Shawana was saying, like, 
are you doing for you know what you're doing for other people are you even doing it for yourself are you showing up for yourself um I think another thing that more internally like confidence confidence level um can keep us from being creative Mm -hmm. because we're like you know can I do that am I capable of doing that and then once you've done it now you like does it even look good Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying like um so I feel like working on confidence level and also putting stuff out there regardless of like what you think someone's going to say or how how they're going to feel about it and even if they don't like it like well I like it you know what I'm saying like sorry you don't like it but I like it so that's kind of something that I've had to do internally because I I wasn't necessarily a perfectionist but now I just reach for satisfaction like am I satisfied Mm. could it be better sure but I'm not trying to get it perfect, but am I satisfied? And can I put right. it up and move on to the next thing? And that's kind of how like you can keep your productivity going because you're not reaching for perfection. So that was something internal I had to do. Just put things out there. If it doesn't work, okay, what what didn't work about it, and move on. Mm-hmm. Um, if it did work, okay, it worked. Let's keep going. But you know, not um not staying down too long. I think that's another thing for like internal work just if something didn't work out don't don't take too long to like cry over it nope y'all gotta it's gonna happen so yeah you gotta bounce back at some point um I think another thing for me was learning my stuff gonna find whoever needs it um because there were times where I was like, oh, this the post is so vulnerable or this thing I'm about to say, like, oh, my God, like, I ain't talking about this. This is like the trenches of my life. Mm-hmm. Um, just knowing that somebody probably needs to hear or they probably need to feel like, oh, damn, somebody went through the same stuff I've been through. Um, so, yeah, that has definitely helped me. It's thinking outside of myself, like you probably need to tell your story so somebody else can either heal, hear it, just feel like, you know what, somebody else gets it. So that has definitely helped me um, when I was feeling iffy <clears throat> about putting certain stuff out because I was just like, oof, I don't know how people are going to respond to this or, you know, God forbid, one of those lovely family members of ours is like, oh my God, I can't believe you said that. Mm-hmm. Um so yeah, just having not to think about what anybody cared and being like, nope, I feel like I need to tell this story. So I'm going to tell it the way that I want to tell it yeah. from my perception. Mm-hmm. All right, y'all. Well, I don't have anything else unless you guys do. I don't. I enjoy this conversation because I feel like somebody is going to need it as a new creative and they walk in into... Um, Sometimes what can be a fiery land if you <laughs> are not around the right people or if you don't have the right people to help you. Um, so, yeah, I feel like this is going to be helpful for somebody. Yeah, I do too. I agree. I do too. <sighs> Y'all, I'm going to 